But I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. The Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is after all why they crucified him. <laughs> Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope my voice coming good and clear to you. Uh, is the broadcast going fine? Because I see in YouTube some weird uh, messages. I hope you can hear me fine. Let me know please if there is any problem. Uh, you know, if we look at the Muslims comment, you will see how Muslims are desperate to prove to us, to us that they have a religion. One of them, he says, how you can explain to me that Christian women are marrying uh, uh, Muslim men massively? Well, if this is true, first of all, a Christian woman, she is not a Christian by marrying a pagan man, because the Bible says clearly the one who do that is a pagan. Light and darkness cannot live together. But then if this is true, that would be something negative. Why? Because the question is why Muslim men then are not marrying Muslim women? Can you answer that? Are you saying that Muslim women are not good to be married? So Muslim men, they are targeting Christian women? Because Muslim women, maybe they are not decent? Maybe because they learn that the man, he can lie to his wife, and the wife, she can lie to her husband? So a Muslim man, he preferred not to marry a Muslim woman because he knew she will lie to him according to Islam? Very desperate people trying to prove that they have religion, but that's not right. Uh, Mr. Luo, I don't appreciate anyone say such a stupid comment. I left Rob Christian live stream to listen to you. In result of doing that, I'm going to block you. I just blocked your name. Anyone will make such a stupid comment, I will block you. This is a stupid. Even if you decide to leave from one stream to other, do you think you are making doing me a favor now and I appreciate it? Christian Prince, I left this guy streaming to come and to listen to you. Should I say thank you, kiss your shoes? If you are a true Christian, you support whoever a Christian is doing a good job. It doesn't matter what channel is. I'm not one of those guys who they are, you know, I'm not trying for election. I'm not doing politics here. You go to anyone, channel, this is your business. You are not doing me a favor. I'm doing you a favor, and he is doing you a favor. Anyway, always remember that the devil, he tried to take a bite of you, if he could. So people, when they become so proud, oh yeah, they are leaving everybody coming to me. Wow, oh, okay, I'm the best. This is the devil. It's a bribe to make you an arrogant person. Uh, 
a Muslim, his name is Dean. He is saying, what's wrong with you? Are you getting worse with anger? Yeah, I should follow the step of the prophet. The prophet, he have a very good dealing with anger to the point he beat his followers. And he said the F word to them. Should I do that too? A Muslim talking about anger. Allah will curse a woman because she take hair from her eyebrows. Who is the one who need anger management? <laughs> Have you ever heard of a stupid religion like this? That this God, he have a stupid anger management to the point, a woman, a poor woman, she took some hair from her eyebrows. And what Allah do? You see the Muslim, they say to, Allah, to us, Allah is all merciful. <laughs> is he? <laughs> uh, bring your God to me to teach him some wisdom, because obviously he is a fool. Have you ever heard of a stupid religion go far like this with the stupidity? He says, what does being cursed by Allah and the Prophet mean? Does this mean there is no hope for that person? First of all, the scholars defined Allah's curse or in Arabic is known as Allan, to be expelling someone from Allah's mercy. And this is only given to major sins. So when the Prophet, ﷺ, for example, curses women who pluck their eyebrows or can uh, attach attachments. <laughs> And extensions to that. So the one who take hair from her eyebrows, this is a major sin. And Allah, who have a problem with anger management, he is so angry, and now he forbid you from her from his mercy. What is the problem? She took some hair from her eyebrows. I mean, do you see how big the problem? This God, he order women to do prostitution is okay in the Quran, and we show you the verses. You can do muta, which is another form of prostitution. The woman, if she divorced three times, she have to be effed by a new husband. Muslim, they have sex with the children, is okay. But the woman, she takes some hair from her eyebrows, is a major sin, and she is out of the mercy of Allah. People, please, don't ask me silly questions. I'm losing my patience with silly questions. Why you are doing your live stream so late? It's for you so late, for somebody else is not. And if you need to sleep, sleep. You can watch it later. Think before you post a question, if this question is useful or not. I'm doing live stream now. And you are saying to me why you are doing late. Should I cancel that set? Let go home? Use your brain if you have any. I'm not here just to do broadcast to Indonesia. There's people around the world. So sometimes we do it for your time. Sometimes we do it for their time. There's many people, millions, billions. I don't know what's wrong with people. Do you want me to call Allah for you now? Did you take your hair from your eyebrows? Uh, you are one of those who took hair from your eyebrows. Allah will curse you now. And now you are out, and it's a major sin. I mean, did you hear the idiot saying this is a major sin? So cheating is not major sin in Islam because you can have a cheat up to four wives legally. While you are married, you can be engaged to unlimited numbers of women even when you are married. Because all what you need to do, you divorce one of them, you have vacancy. But the woman she is taking here from her eyebrows, it's a major sin, brother. 
Look at this idiot. And the funny is, I mean, did you see something wrong in this stupid mental illness religion? Those people, they shave their mustache. Period. Do you see how stupid this face is? There's a beard, but there's no mustache. How come if the women, she take hair from here? House. Just to show you the stupidity of this garbage cult. So the women, she take hair from here. Here. This location. One hair, two hair, three hair, five hair, ten hair. The guy, he took thousands of hair from his mustache. It's a major sin for a female, and we know that female should be interested. I mean, this is normal. Female is a female. She likes to be more beautiful. Why you are shaving your mustache like this? Oh, the prophet used to do it. Well, he looks like Satan. I mean, beard with no mustache or something funny, silly. If we ask Muslims why it's, she cannot take her hair from her eyebrows, they say, oh, you are changing the way Allah, he made you. Well, isn't it this is taking the hair of your mustache is changing the way Allah, he made you? Do you see why we laugh at this cult? You cannot change the way Allah he made you and then they do circumcision for male and female. If you cannot change the way Allah made you, so why you allow Muslim women to have uh, earring? I never saw a stupid religion more than this one. This is a religion of stupidity, literally. The second you are part of it, all your religion is about hair in the anus. Go, go to Muslim website, search. Brother and sister, I have a question, serious question. Can I take hair from the anus area, brother? And now the consultant of Sheikh, they will meet together. The United Nation of Allah. And they will discuss the very serious question. Hair in the anus. And then they will give you a holy answer. So they can give you the answer for the holy anus. Al Khomeini, who is a Shia, he said to the Sunni, You have a huge library of the bathroom. He was making fun of them, of their books. How many books they have about shaving their vagina, their penises, you know. Oh, Lord have mercy. And you, and you tell me this is a religion? What is this? God, you know, when you speak about anger management, should I change the title of my video? Anger management. The woman, she did not cheat. She did not sleep around. She did not lie. She did not kill. She did not steal. She took hair from her face. This God... He considered this as a major sin. And now she is cursed and she will go to hell. And this guy is serious. Some, for example, curses only given to major sins. So when the Prophet, ﷺ, for example, curses women who pluck their eyebrows or you Muslim men, you have to like to have sex with men, don't you? That's why you like them to be hairy. Yesterday, when we went live, we have a guy from Nigeria, if you remember. Uh, he said that the Quran, when Allah, he say we, when Allah, he say we, Allah, he mean that him and the angels, they create. Remember, we have it in the previous video. I don't know which moment we can play it. And he said that Allah is one of a high rank society. 
Is that correct, guys? Is that what he said? If I know which moment he called me Ultimate Fort from Nigeria, Sheikh Ultimate, we can play it so we can, we, can, we can laugh. So Allah is one of high society rank. So when Allah, he say we, he mean him and the angels, all of them, they are creators. He was trying to explain how and why the Quran, the stupid Quran says Allah is the best of the creators. How Allah can be the best of the creators if there is only one creator? And then the Muslims, because they are super intelligent, you know, this is the destiny of you as a Muslim. When you are a Muslim, you have to be smart. I mean, genius. One after one, they start calling me, if you remember, and they told me, didn't you create a bicycle? Did Allah create a bicycle? Can Allah even create a bicycle? A bicycle is not a creation, you idiot. This is an invention. What creation? This is not a creation. So we asked them who is Allah. Then a guy in the comment section, he said the Christian prince. Let me go to the comment actually, hold on. Give me a second. He answered my question so easy. He said Allah is Allah. The creator. <laughs> That's it. We're asking him who is Allah. He say Allah is Allah, the creator. But Allah says he is the best of the creators. If Allah is the creator, then this verse is a fraud. Or Allah is being stupid. You cannot say, I am the best unless there is many like you. Only if there is many like you, then you can say I'm the best. I'm the best student because there is many students. Very simple. But I cannot say I am the best student when there is none. Because that means I'm fabricating a lie, claiming I am the best of them when there is no them. Imagine you, like uh, uh, some people, they watch uh, boxing. I, be I believe it's a stupid uh, a sport because it's not sport, it's for money. Uh, imagine you are the champion of boxing in the world, but you never played with anyone. Nobody there playing this sport. So the definition they always jump to say to us is Allah is the creator, but there's no proof first that he can create anything. Secondly, Allah himself, he proved that he cannot be the creator. The verse in the front of you is the proof. Allah do not know how the baby is made. I mean, you are God and you are the one who made the baby. And you explain in details how you made the baby. Who in the world want to believe in such a garbage? That semen became a blood. There is a million websites, they have nothing to do with religion. Go check, is it true in any stage that semen will become a blood, dead blood? Hmm. This Muslim here is giving me an answer, which is really a uh, Harry Potter answer. Let me show you. We take selfie for him. Harry Potter, he said, Christian Prince is mixed up. I am the man is mixed up. Oh, okay. The best of the creator means creator of life. What the heck? This is what we are saying. If there's any other creator of life, <laughs> and I am the one mixed up. So the best of the creators mean creator of life. 
It's like the Christian saying, Almighty God is the Christian saying, are other God that are not Almighty? You stupid. We are not saying the Almighty Gods. We are saying Almighty. Almighty is describing for His power. We are not saying He's the best. He's Almighty. Because a human beings have power too. Nature have power. Mighty storm. But when we say Almighty, that means all power belongs to Him. You are stupid again. So this guy, he tried to fix it, but he made it more, more horrible because now we confirm that the Creator, the best of the Creator, is the one who is creating life. So when Allah, He says, he is the best of the creators. That's mean there's many who create lives too. And he is claiming that he is better than all of them. Maybe he uh, create more than they do. Maybe those gods take them more time. But we know that Allah is so slow. It takes Allah 1,000 years to soften the skin of a woman in heaven. I mean, if you have an alligator, Go and buy some Vaseline from Amazon and you will make the skin of the alligator after 10 years maximum soft like a skin of a woman. Did you see the machine who make concrete soft like the face of a baby? Will take two seconds. Allah will take 1,000 years to soften the skin of a woman. And the funny they say to us, if Allah wanted to make something or to say something, to create something, he say, B is going to be. Who is a Muslim can really, until now you Muslim fail and your God fail. We ask you who is Allah, you give me what he do, but what he do is proven to be false. As you see, this is not a creation of a baby. That is not even a creation of a, of a cat or a rat. Who is Allah? didn't know. The Arab before Muhammad, they used to worship Allah. If you ask the Muslims, is the Arab before Muhammad pagan? They will say yes. So how they are worshiping Allah, and they are pagan, they will say to you, well, they are associating with him other gods, what Allah he just did. <laughs> is that correct? If being you know, a polytheist uh, make you pagan, Allah is pagan because He just said He is the best of the creators. Hmm? Any Mohammedan? I have a comment here of somebody. He is proving to us that Allah and Muhammad is one person. He did not say that word by word, but this is what it says. He is saying in Islam, you have to obey Allah and his messenger. Who is Allah? Look, the question is, this Muslim is answering, who is Allah? Among the Muslims, the, verses of, the verse of obedience to Allah, S-A-W-T, this is how you know he's a Muslim, and his messenger is the verse that uh, quite important especially to, uh, in the information of an attitude of respect 
and the cult of Muhammad. Ah, this guy is not a Muslim, sorry. I take it back. I thought he is a Muslim because he put uh, S A W S W T. <laughs> All right, I will, I will skip this comment. All right. Uh, uh, uh. Let us see. If we see, if we can see more comment. Actually, I'm going to open my Skype. Maybe we can get lucky. And we get a Muslim, he knew a little bit what he's talking about. This is a question no Muslim really can answer. They do not know who's their God. All what they knew about their God is his name, and even the name is wrong. All what they knew about their God is attribute as they claim, but then this attribute is stupid and silly. <clears throat> Uh, uh, a Muslim saying to me, uh, in the book of Daniel, there is a, a, a there is a tall a tree. Uh, the whole world is visible from the top of the tree. In my friend, uh, when a Muslim he make a statement, uh, I really laugh, and I feel sorry for you. When I try to understand a belief or what the statement is saying, I try to understand what people are meant by that. I, I can say right now, I can see the whole world from the top of my roof. That doesn't mean I saw the whole world. However, can God show me the whole world from my bedroom? He can. So, you know, we, are, we have a book speaking about, it's a book of miracles. If you want to talk about facts, then you have to deny what Allah, he said, that Mary, she had a son without a man. So if you are a person who want to go by science, claiming science to prove what is okay and what isn't wrong, then you have to deny your religion. Okay, we have a Muslim. Hello? Who is this? Hello? Yes. Okay, speak, speak as adult or I will hang up on you. Who, who are you? I called before, remember? Okay, I don't remember. Okay, go ahead. What do you want to say? Well, I, you know, okay, why do, I, why do people need to believe in Jesus? Jesus said he loves all, right? So mm. compared to Muhammad, where he's, Muhammad said you have to are believe you, in Islam. Are you a Muslim? I am a Muslim. Remember, I said mm. Sunni, and then I whatever. But I see people. A lot of people call me, so I don't remember. I anyway, yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Mm. Um, I guess that's my point. So, if Jesus said that He loves everybody, mm. okay, then why do me? Why do I need to change? Why would anybody need to change your religion? Because, but then, okay, why does it say you have to? You can, you need Jesus to be saved. But why? Okay, I, I will go with you. First, I, I, want you, I want you to confirm to me that uh, based on your understanding, nobody should believe in him, correct? What, no, as Muslims, we believe in him. So you're not going to... No, no, no like I'm, not, I'm not saying that. You, <laughs> you, you, your idea is saying that if, you, if Jesus loves everybody, then nobody should believe in him, right? No, I'm saying that why do we need him to be saved if, if, if in comparison, because there's... Okay, do Allah, do Allah love everybody? Yes, he does. I, you just, I do. you just, you just de defeated yourself. If Allah love everybody, so why would you need to believe in Allah? You already do. If you're a Christian, or if you're no, a Jew, we don't. No, we don't. No, no. You see, it doesn't matter. You just say it. You, ju you just say it. You just say it. If Jesus love everybody, then there's no need to love, you know, to believe in I him. I never said I have to believe in him. I said, why do I need it? Why would anybody need to be turned Christian? Exactly. You know, why anyone need to be a Christian? Same for Allah. I ask you, do Allah love everybody? You said yes. Then do I anyone need to be a Muslim? I mean, it's like this, okay? Here's here's my point. When you say, "Does love? Does he love everybody?" Mm. God created millions of gay people, right? I believe it's a choice, but you maybe somebody has homosexual urges. Maybe they were abused as a child. I don't know. I, my heart goes out to them. Mm. My point is, you know, did God create mistakes then? So if God God has to, but 
then why do you see Christian people saying, oh, God hates homosexuals or, or anybody, any religion? Because most religious people are against homosexuals. Okay, then did God create a mistake? My point is, I truly believe God loves everybody. When somebody's killing somebody, I don't think God loves them at that point. But in Christianity and Islam, you can repent and you will be forgiven, right mm. or wrong. Mm. Are you done? Yeah, I'm done on that point. Okay. <laughs> so if if you are saying that Allah don't make mistakes, so why you in your Islam you are you hate the homosexual? I don't hate anybody. Are you against Islam now? I'm not against Islam. But I you, love but you just said, do Allah make mistake? And you are claiming that a person who is a homosexual, Allah he made him homosexual, correct? Like I said, I think I believe that they have homosexual urges, whether they give in to them or not. I mean, you look at you could have a guy who is married to a woman, but he's not the question. Focus with me. Focus with me, please. Okay. 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 So you just said Allah don't make a mistake, correct? So a person who is a homosexual, obviously, based on your understanding, he is made by Allah to be a homosexual. Yeah, but that's my point. Why does any religion say that we have to kill them? And listen, I listen. You see, are, are you making things up now? I'm asking you the question. You are adding things. You are adding things. It's not my, in my question. So I'm asking you, if Allah I, is the one who made the homosexual homosexual, huh? and you said Allah does not make a mistake, so Allah He did not make a mistake when He made the homosexual homosexual, correct? No. Well, and yes, I'm saying that he loves all his children, right? Whether he's a homosexual, maybe he's not happy about that. You see, about everything you are saying to me is really funny and silly because you Muslim, you don't believe that you are a child of God. Well, I'm using it with a Christian scope. So you, no, you cannot because you are a Muslim. Well, I can respect both religions. Okay, okay I'm Acor a slave according to, according to your prophet, according to your prophet, I'm a slave. According to your prophet, who is the homosexual? Who is he? Yeah. Cursed by Allah, right? No, how he become homosexual, to make it clear for you. I don't think he ever spoke on it. How, what did Muhammad say about how did the homosexual become Don't ask me the question I'm asking. You are the Muslim and the Christian. Suppose you are oh, the one who should know. I am the, one, the last one should know. Why? But that's you're assuming that I said or any or Muslims in general look down and I'm not assuming anything. I'm a no. friend. Did I assume anything? I ask you a question. Either I say I know, or you say I do not know. I just want to say that on live. We're not. We don't hate Christians, brother. My friend, don't change the topic. You are switching like for like. No, a, no, because every time I'm I say asking you, I'm asking you, how a homosexual? You are the one who said I believe Allah did not make a mistake when He created them. Correct. I mean. I mean, in what regard? A mistake as a person, a mistake in their sin, a being, mistake being homosexual. The word, you, you are the one who opened this topic. You are the one who the mentioned the word homosexual. Wrong, the act is wrong, but I guess what I'm saying is you could have somebody who's a homosexual. This is not the question. When you said Allah did not make a mistake, is it by creation they are become homosexual or it was Allah who decided to make them homosexual? Well, if I... You already know that. I mean, it has to be Allah, right? Because Allah, it's in everything, is in Allah's will, but then they go okay. down the whole path. Of, no, according to. Oh, we have free will. Okay, I, I, I think, or? I think, I think that there is a genie, he had sex with the Muslim women during the intercourse, and that made them homosexual. What do you think? <laughs> Jesus. Why are you are laughing? Are you cursing now? <laughs> I don't mean to take your Lord's name. Okay. I'm trying to respect you, brother. Okay. Mm. Why well, you are laughing? Are you laughing at what? I just said a genie, he slept with your wife. Why you formed that? Why you formed that? This is your prophet statement. Okay, you want to go deep in the rabbit hole? Okay. Here we go. A second ago you were laughing. Now you want to go deep? You change your you, uh, you change your your no, I'm, your, I mean, I'm you change your you comment. Go. You change your comment in the speed of light. A second ago you said, "Oh Jesus," and you start laughing at me, and you say you are making things up. And now I say it's your prophet who says that. Suddenly, suddenly, okay. So why you were laughing a second ago? It was your your prophet saying that those homosexuals they are exist because a genie was having sex with the wife when. The man was doing sex with her. I don't think so. You said that. I don't think so. My point is, you. We don't tell me I don't think so. I have the reference in the front of you. But you went around my question. My first question was. This is. Why that, this is. Jesus? This is. We focus with me. I said to you. I believe. You know, for sure, I was being doing sarc sarcasm. So I was saying to you, 
I believe a gen it's a genie who had sex with the women when the husband was having sex with her. You start laughing, even you're cursed. Uh, you know, I did not hang up on you, even you are cursing, because I would have patience with someone ignorant like you. You laugh at me, and you say, where are you getting from? from? You are me, blah, 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 blah. And then, the second I said, your prophet say so, it's okay. So do you, do you agree with your prophet, or you don't? On what? That he's that a genie he had sex with the wife when the husband was doing boom boom because he did not pray to Allah. Therefore, those that. homosexual, those homosexual are the children from genie. No, I don't believe that. I don't care if he said it or not. So are you saying your prophet is a stupid? I don't know. I wasn't there, brother. This is not the question. Are you saying your prophet is a stupid? No, I'm not. You, saying, you, just, you just said I don't believe in that. There's some things that are appalling, bro. No, no, no. Hold on. You just <laughs> said you just said I don't believe in that. Why you don't believe in that? Because because it doesn't make sense. Okay, so you are saying your prophet is stupid. Maybe he made that silly remark. Maybe he was. Okay, so you are prophet. saying so you are saying he is a prophet of God who makes silly remark. I mean, maybe he wasn't just all uptight all the time. I don't know. Maybe, maybe he was. Cool maybe he was taking hashish at that time. May I don't know. Okay. Probably so not. now me and you we agree that Muhammad cannot be taken seriously for he says silly and he, he, he do silly stuff. So he cannot be a prophet of God because a prophet of God he have a, 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 a serious position. Okay. Who's mock Jesus? Hold on. Don't wrong? change topic. You say you no, are the you one. No, you, you, you are you are trying to escape. You are trying to escape what you just said about your prophet. We discovered that your prophet is a stupid, and you agreed, because when you say he said this silly thing, you know nonsense. You are agreeing that he is a stupid. So how you can take him as a prophet if he is silly and stupid? Well, I'm starting to realize as I grow, brother, that you know I don't want to take from the religion pick and choose but i like look at maybe something you hear it shakes your faith a little you're like oh that's kind of weird. my friend that's not a question I'm not, no no this is my point i'm not asking you about your position right now i'm asking you how we can follow is there something written on G here's my listen point. listen listen how maybe we can follow how we can Jesus follow a person true, you yourself right? agree that he is silly and stupid how we can follow him what is that, a hadith that you're saying? Yeah. Okay, so he said that homosexuals became the woman. You're saying specifically a woman no, became a homosexual? No, they, they become homosexual because they are the children of the genie. <laughs> <sighs> that I... Hmm. <laughs> Jesus. I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. Why well, you are laughing? Are you laughing at your prophet now? Show respect. I have a lot of Muslim listening. Do you want Allah to curse you? Allah, he cursed women for taking hair from their eyebrows. Now you are well, making fun of prophet I'm, Muhammad himself. I don't know what God is up there. He loves me. I'm not worried about it. I don't fear God. Well, no, you're well, glad he don't love you. Like, Allah, do Allah, do Allah don't love you. See, this is, you are, you are, you are mixing. My last episode. I'm not scared. I don't care what you are, Muslim You means. are mixing things up. When you say, you know, first you say to me, children of God. You Muslim, you are. You don't believe in child of God, do you? I believe I am a child of God. I don't care. Well, the, Qur the Quran say no. The Quran says that the well, one. My friend, do you, do you understand your book or you don't? As I've said before, I'm not a Quran master, but I like to think of myself as an. Okay, the Quran says God. those are Christians who say that they are the children of God. They are. I think it's they are, they well, are lying. I think when you guys say Heavenly Father, it's cool. What do you my, want me to my, do? My mock friend, it? my friend, my friend. This is not that. You, do, oh, you, you want to mock it? You don't want to mock it. This is this I is your business. My point is, I, I think there's some things that are nice oh. in Christianity. I think there's some things that are nice in Buddhism, Hinduism, whatever. I'm not gonna. Hmm. There's some things that are I think are that don't make sense. They don't believe in a personal God. So I, there's some things I don't agree with. Right? There's some things in my own religion that I might not totally agree with. Does it mean that I denounce it? No. Does it mean that I go around, you know? Well, then, then you have no place in anywhere because simply you are a mixer. So you, you agree with the whole, you, you, are, you, you are a mixer. You are a mixer or mix of beliefs. And you are trying to take from every belief some potato, no, some tomato, and you make no, your own I'm open buffet. Okay, so you believe either, in everything. Either you, accept, either you accept, uh, yes, I accept everything Jesus said. So you believe everything in the Old Testament? You everything believe the I Nights believe. I, you see, the Old Testament, you Muslims are ignorant. Old Testament is not a book where God speak. 
It is God speaking and people are speaking. So people, they say bad things. God says, if when God says, I take what God says. When a human being, he say, or he do, I learn from it. So you Muslims in the Quran, you claim that Allah is the one <clears throat> only. This is the word of Allah, correct? I believe so. Okay, but in the Bible, we have many people talking. We have Rabbi talking. We have a, a prophet talking. We have bad people talking. We have a criminal talking. The Bible is a book of books, history of man with God. Not only God talking, but if we go in the Quran, we will find that Allah supposedly is the only one talking. But we can bust that in, so in two seconds. If you go in the Quran, chapter 5, verse number 18, it says that both the Christian and the Jews, they say we are the children of God. We don't say children of Allah. We say children of God. Children of God. Yeah. Okay. So he, and he said, and his beloved ones, then say to them, so why Allah, he punish you for your sin? Here you see that the one who would the Quran is an idiot because being a children of God doesn't mean he don't punish us for our sin. Who said we don't get punished? If we are children of God, actually, because we are children of God, we are going to be punished because he gave us a very high rank or a place. And then we misuse it and abuse it. So right, the Quran, but, the Quran okay. is a book of stupidity. And the logic he is using is against the Quran itself. Because if, if Allah is all merciful, why he is all merciful? Can you tell me? If he's called the all merciful, why is he called the all merciful? No, why he is all merciful? Why is he? Because he understands that we're flawed. But this is proof that he is not understanding. Look, it says here the Christian, they say we are the children of God and his beloved one. The answer is, well, if you are, then why he punish you for your sin? Nay, you are just a human being. So well, no, but the, stupid the, author of the, says... the stupid author of the Quran, you know that when a Christian, they say, that we are children of God. Are they claiming really that to be divine? No. Okay, well, so why? So, re, so read that's with me. So read with me the stupidity. You know, see, does it make sense to say to us, nay, you are not but a human being? No, because I, you, okay, look at, like it says, we're, we're not just slaves of Allah, right? My friend, it, answer, it, answer, it, answer. I, I'm, I asked you a serious question. When Allah, he says to the Christian and the Jews, you say that you are the children of God. Well, you know what? No, you are just a human being. So obviously he is a stupid. He don't understand what children of God mean. The author of the Quran didn't understand the Christian concepts of what they said they're children of God. Exactly. So he's a it's stupid. Like saying, I'm a, but I'm a, but I'm this a is of God. but I'm this is no. But this is a proof that the one who made the Quran he have he's an ignorant because if okay. we don't if we don't believe by saying we are children of God we don't believe that we are divine and literally we are really children. So why in the world he is saying such a stupid statement? No, but because you come from God. Maybe Muhammad didn't understand that. Maybe Muhammad wasn't. So how person. Muhammad, this is the one is talking is Allah. Oh, you're talking in there. Okay. Um, how Allah don't understand? I don't know. Just like the Trinity is not See? correct. In the so God. again, uh, you're God. So now we, 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 when you call me. We reach, a, we reach, we reach agreement, me and you, that you're, we reach agreement, me and you, that Muhammad, he says silly, stupid things. This is number one. Thank you. Now. No, you, what I'm saying is if that's a silly thing, it doesn't mean that he said it, brother. Like, look at My friend, it doesn't mean he there. said it. You most time you say he said it. Don't call me again. Ooh. Don't waste my time. I'm showing you from your books. I'm showing you the reference. I'm showing you what it says. It says the prophet said, and then you say to me, it doesn't mean he said that. So what's the point of talking to you? I mean, you most time you say, the prophet said. And then when we read it, you say, he doesn't mean he said that. And now we show you that Allah, he said this. Are you going to say to me, it doesn't mean he said that? And how Allah can be God, and he don't understand even what the Christian believe. And what kind of a debate, or imagine Allah now is the one who's calling me, and saying to me, a hey, Christian prince, how you say you are a child of God, and then Allah, he punish you for your sin. Nay, you are just a human. I will make Allah shish kebab if he said that to me. 
what kind of a God he is. I mean, you see, when we speak about God, we speak about supreme intelligence, not a human being intelligence. This is a statement of a goat. No Christian believes that he's a child of God. That means God, he has sex with his mother and they have a baby. This is, he is the baby. And then if he, he punishes us, don't, don't father, they punish their children anyway. If they do wrong. If, even if you think about the logic. Don't fathers punish their children if they do wrong. So the logic is stupid, the statement is stupid, and proving many things, ignorance, stupidity, lack of intellect and intelligence. And how in the world anyone will believe that if somebody have sex with his wife and he did not pray shaitan, he sleep with his wife, and then the, the child will be homosexual. Muhammad found a solution how homosexuals exist. In the same time, we find that he is a homosexual. He dress, he's a women dresser. He put makeup three times a day on his eyes. He liked to be called pretty. He changed his name from Qatam to Muhammad, the praised one. All women, they like to praise themselves. All women like to have mirror. Muhammad is the most pretty woman to the point because she is so pretty Allah and the angels and the believers everybody is praying on the Prophet the dream of every woman everybody looking Everybody is staring because she is so pretty. So Muhammad, he made himself the center of the universe and he became the beauty queen. And when you read the verse, this is a chapter 33, verse number 56. If you remember in the, in the funny debate between Mimi Hijab and David Wood, Mimi Hijab, he says, this is why it says Allah, he prayed for, not to, as if it make a difference. So, here the Muslim, there are things in the Quran between two brackets, it's not there. It says, Allah, he not send Salat, he do Salat. This is why I say to you, Muslims' translation is a chain of fabrication. They are fabricators. Allah, he prays on Muhammad. Between two brackets, he send his graces, honor, blessing, mercy, etc. Hold on. And also the angels, and now they are asked, adding, they ask Allah, you see how stupid this verse? If the Allah, he prayed Allah, Allah already he sent a blessing. Why they are asking Allah? Imagine you are a warehouse of a blessing. And the warehouse of Allah, he sent all his blessing to Muhammad. Then there's angels, they take the phone call. Allah, please Allah, send more blessing to Muhammad, brother. Allah, please Allah, send more blessing. Allah, okay, I just send, send more Allah, send more. There's more than less. If you are blessed, you are blessed. Is that by kilo? This is actually an insult to God, because if God, he blessed you, there's no extra blessing and there's no less blessing, you're blessed. So when they change the word prayer to blessing, they gave Allah a big, uh, you know, a big screw. The verse in Arabic it says, "Inna Allah wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala nabi ya ayuha aladina amnu sallu alaihi wa sallimu taslima." Allah and His angels are praying on the Prophet. Oh, who you believe? Pray on him and salute him. Who is left? So Muhammad became the center of the universe. And there's a circle around him.
This is Muhammad in the middle. Allah is here, praying on Muhammad. The angel here, praying on Muhammad. The human are here, praying on Muhammad. Everybody in the world busy shooting arrows of prayer at Muhammad. Is that a religion, really? Is that really a religion of God? Who is God here? Muhammad. The whole world busy doing one thing. The believers, the angels, the God, all of them, they are sending a prayer to Muhammad. So who is God? Muhammad is God in Islam. This is demonic, satanic, pagan, mushrikeen cult. They associate Muhammad with, you see Muhammad, he used God as a key to control. And then he placed himself higher than God. He claimed that he is a servant of God, but at the same time he gave himself the authority over God himself. The Muslims, even they say that Allah and his messengers knows best. Who knows best? Allah and his messenger. But that's mean Muhammad, he have equal knowledge to Allah. Because we cannot say Allah and his messenger knows best. I can say, if Allah is God, Allah knows best. Best, best, best means there's no higher, that's it. But this cult keeps saying that Allah and his messengers knows best. And if we see how Muhammad he knew best, he would die laughing. Muhammad, he asked his friend who was sitting behind him. He said to him, Abu Dhar, the father of the ants, he said, I was sitting behind the messenger of Allah. S-A-W-S, -S, it's a short video, uh, uh, radio thing. Who was riding a donkey while the sun was setting. He asked, do you know where this, this set? This is the question. The question is simple. Do you know where this set? I replied, Allah and his apostles know best. Shouldn't Muhammad say shame on you to say so? Allah knows best only, and what I have is little. The word best now is for both. In the Quran it says, Allah is the best of the creators. This is even worse. Because now we have two who knows best. And we are talking about what? We are talking about something human do not really know at that time where the sun goes at least for the Arab so he said it's set in a spring of boiling water not warm boiling Hamia Hamia in Arabic mean very hot the same word is used for describing hell in the Quran Hamia So they do not know who is their God. They do not know who they are worshiping. They have a big mouth speaking about how amazing this God, but the second you ask them who is this God, they, they, will, they, will, they will collapse. Who is Allah? Even his name, they get it wrong. His name is not Allah. His name is Lah. Al is a word being God. Lah is the name of the God. In Arabic today, the word al present the, the. So either if you want to use it as word mean the, or if you want to go to the origin, which is the more accurate, as a word mean God, both will lead us to know who is the name. The la or Allah, which mean al as God, God la. 
And if you search for Islam, you will see Allah is the moon God. And this God, he claimed that there is a 12 moons. He have a 12 moons. And those moons are mentioned. Palaces. Where did Muhammad he got this from? This is from the previous religions. Pagan religion. That God, he moved from mansion to mansion, he traveled. Every month, he have a new mansion. This is chapter 36, verse number 39. And if you read those verses, actually, you would die laughing. It says here, and the sun runs to its fixed course. The sun runs to its fixed course. You go to the hadith, you will find that the, 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 the course of the sun is under the throne of Allah. Every night the sun goes and sleep there. Every night. Read and laugh. Muhammad now, he proved to us again that he is, must be true prophet of God, and his God is true God. Why? Because now he understands how the sun moves. How the sun moves every day, go from the east to the west, and then go and take a nap until the morning, enter the throne of Allah. And then, by the morning, the sun will ask Allah for permission to rise again. You might say, it doesn't say that CP. It says in the front of your eyes. Those foolish Abdul who keep saying, it doesn't say that, CP, it's in the front of you. The prophet asked me, actually one of them, one of those Abdul, he says, yes, and this is the accurate, and the prophet, he got you busted. Do you know where the sun goes? Between two brackets, at the time of the sunset. I replied, Allah and his apostle know better. Here we go. They are mushrikeen, associating the name of God with the name of a man. He said it goes, i.e. travel. Ooh, that's deep. Till it portrayed itself underneath the throne of Allah. Under the throne, throne of Allah. And take permission to rise again. So now we solve the mystery about where the sun goes every day. I was already worried. Maybe she is sleeping around. Maybe she is cheating. Maybe she is going to Tesla to add more electronic parts. Or recharging the battery. It turned to be, I was wrong. The sun is a decent sun. She goes every day and she sleeps like a cat under the chair of Allah. Isn't this a beautiful brother? Under the chair of Allah. I mean, beat yourself in her shoes. You are the sun, and you are a cat. Where do you go every day? Where do you go? Huh? Where do you go? You go under the chair of Allah. And the chair of Allah is all aggressive, more expensive. Now we knew where the sun goes every day. And those Christians, they cannot lie about it no more. Kuffar, brother, kuffar, they eat pork. You drink camel urine. You eat a human flesh. And then they say to you, brother, if you go right now and search for Quran and science, you will find a billion video made by Muslims about amazing discovery.
What the Quran says, my friend, this is the Quran. This is the Quran. Are you ignorant? It's in the front of you. It says, Muhammad, he said, and this is Allah. This is the interpretation of Allah's statement. The sun runs into a fixed course. Chapter 36, verse number 38. Muhammad here is explaining the Quran. This is interpretation for the Quran by Muhammad himself. So the Muslim now, they cannot say to us, oh, this is Ibn Kathir, oh, this is etc. Oh, this is, no, this is Muhammad himself explaining. This is Sahih Bukhari, the most authentic. And this is a religion? Who is Allah? Based on what we showed you until now, Allah is just an idiot. And if Allah is an idiot in one thing, he's an idiot all the time. This is can't be coming from Allah. It doesn't say sleep. He will go, the guys, guys, he's saying it doesn't say sleep. No, it says, read carefully. It says, prostrate itself under the throne. What does prostrate mean? You lay yourself down. Do you know what prostrate mean? According to your religion, the sun is a, a creature who understand, he believe, and she pray to Allah. She prostrate. <laughs> she lay down under the chair of Allah. This is religion. And now the Muslim, he found a mistake supposedly. He says, it doesn't sleep there, CP. All this garbage, what is making him angry now, it doesn't say sleep. I mean, do you see the intelligence? All the garbage in the front of him, he found that it doesn't sleep. He's okay with the sun going every day under the throne of Allah, and then rising again by asking Allah for permission from under his throne. But he's not okay with me saying it doesn't sleep. It doesn't say that, CP. Supposedly now he fixed the problem. It doesn't say sleep. Do you see how they can refute you so easy? We get him busted. It doesn't say sleep. Did you hear him, brother? He said the sun sleep. I mean, all the garbage I'm showing you. And now you are worried about the word sleep? And then the sun asking Allah for permission to rise up, does the sun stoke? What is the language they are using in Arabic? I am the sun. Uh, 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 Allah, he listened to the sun in Arabic. Huh. Your Arabic is improving. Where you learn that? Oh Allah, I did not tell you, Christian Prince, you have a channel teaching Arabic. So I listened to him from the sunset to the sunrise. Every day. This is religion. And every day the sun goes. Look, somebody saying, what about Alaska? Huh? What about Alaska? If the sun goes every day, guys, if the sun goes every day, Right? Every day. So what, do, do the people in Alaska, they have different sun? Why the sun there is not going around? You think you are justified because they believe in Allah, it's AWT, like a father? Look, you know, look at this, my guys. Look, at, just to show you how Muslims are terrified to answer a question. He, he tried to skip the humiliation of the stupidity of his prophet. And he's asking me this now. Look, he might change the topic. He, 
Arabian Prophet. You Christian think you are justified because you believe that Allah is AW2 like a father? If you think of the police as father, you are just stupid people, man. What kind of urine you are drinking? Is, is are you sure it's a, you, a camel urine as the prophet said? What justified? Who said we are justified? What does that mean? Stupidity is amazing. It is you Muslims who think you are justified because you believe in Allah. Isn't it Allah who said to you, if you say Bismillahi walhamdulillah 100 times, Allah will erase your sin even if they are more than the form of the earth? If we say in Christianity to Jesus, you are God a billion times, doesn't mean that we will go to heaven. That's why Jesus said, not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, which means God, God, and he worship me, will enter the kingdom of my father, but the one who will do his will. It is you Muslim who justify all your sin. I touched the black stone. It erased my sin. Who said that? Prophet Muhammad says that. Have you ever heard of a pagan cult more than this? By touching a stone, your sin is erased? Huh? Christian Prince, do you think you are justified because you think? No, we don't think we are justified. Not every Christian will go to heaven because many of them, they are fake. Look at this. The messenger of Allah, he says, if any of you incapable of earning 1,000 uh, 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 hasana. How you earn 1,000 hasana a day? Look, look, even the number is 1,000, brother. How we can earn it, brother? Okay. He said, uh, someone from the gathering said, okay, how, how, how we can earn, brother, uh, 1,000 hasana? Hasana means deeds, good deeds. Hmm? He said, clarify Allah 100 times. And sounds that Hasana will be written for you in your bank account. <laughs> Do you see how easy it is called? In a Christianity, if you glorify your God once or a billion times, there is no deed will be written for you because you did nothing. Jesus said, from their fruits, you shall know them, not from their prayer. Talk is cheap. This is a religion. And read this. Abu Abdul Rahman, brother and sister Abu Abdul Rahman, why only I see you touching the two corners of the Kaaba? The Kaaba have two corners. One of them is called Yemeni corner, and the other one, the black stone corner. The Yemeni corner is called this way because those stones are coming from Yemen. And both of them they have stones which obviously they don't match <coughs> with the with the rest of the stones in the wall according to the pagan muhammad if you touch this corner look look they, they open a hole in the like a vagina the kaaba wearing a skirt who is the first one who made a skirt for the kaaba a pagan and you are pagan you still follow it If you touch this vagina or the other vagina, it erase your sin. This is the Yemeni corner. Let me show you the picture of the Yemeni corner, both of them. Give me a second. The Yemeni corner and the and the and the. Uh, I saw a picture have both of them in the same image. Let's see. Pagans. Islam is a pagan cult. Touching the stones will erase your sin. I'm trying just to find the picture. I have both of them in the same image. I saw one disappear. I clicked on it. For some reason, it took me to a different image. 
<clears throat> anyway, you can just, you know, you can type the, the Yemeni corner in the Kaaba, and you can see it, and then the black stone, and you can see it. As you see, this is a pure pagan cult, you know? This is nothing but a pagan cult. And then they claim that they are the one who have a true belief and a, and a true God. But the second you, you know, you check, the second you see, the second you read, the second you understand, you will notice immediately that this is a very false cult. This is absolutely a stupid cult. It doesn't even fit to be called cult. Now, do we have any Muslim on an answer who is Allah? Shall I make a video every day about who is Allah? And you will see no Muslim knows. They give you the most funny, stupid answers. You have no idea. Their God, he do not know how the sun set. Where the sun set? What is the moon? Their God, he claimed that the sun and the moon, they never met in a course. What course we are talking about? Which means they will not appear in the sky in the same time. But all of us, we knew the eclipse. It is not for the sun to overtake the moon, nor does the night outstrip the day. <laughs> what the heck is that? Is that true? How many times a human being witnessed that in the middle of the day, the night overtake the day? Because simply the moon come in the same direction between us and the sun. This is God. And this is the same God who he claimed that he sent hail from mountains in heaven. Here we go. We have now a, tr a true, finally, a scientific explanation how the hail is coming, from where it's coming. Brother, Allah, he have mountain of ice, and he sent from those mountains hail. He break it pieces. Who can beat that knowledge? Chapter 24, verse number 43. Nobody. Are you interested in weather? <clears throat> you want to understand the weather? Well, in Islam, the, the thunder is an angel. And he has a fire built like a maestro. When he moved the fire built in his right hand to the right side, 70,000 angels praise Allah. This is the, th the sound of the thunder. Muhammad, he explained it. It's clear. Like, like, it's like clear like sky. And when, when he moved the fire built to the left side, another 70,000 angels, they praise Allah. This is explained why we hear the thunder twice. <clears throat> If you go to chapter 13, verse number 13, and then, <coughs> oh boy, <laughs> little coffee stuck in my throat. <clears throat> if you go to 13, 13, you will see the science. You see, I can say the, the thunder praising God, this is metaphorical, no problem. Everything, praise God. Trees, praise God, no problem. But this is not what it says. According to the Muhammadan, the thunder is an angel in charge of the cloud. And he lead the cloud from place to place, brother. Chapter 13, verse number 13. Let us take a look. Thirteen. Thirteen. Double thirteen. 
That's your lucky day. <laughs> the Thunder Brother is an angel who is in charge of Black Cloud Brother, driving them while in constantly proclaiming his praise. Do you see it, brother? The thunder is an angel. He is in charge of the cloud. And he leads the cloud from a blaze to blaze. Now, for sure, there's more interpretation, giving you all even more details, like I said, when he moved the fire belt, etc. I mean, crazy stuff. This is a religion of madness. Yet nobody speak about science as they do. By the way, all of this is proven to be scientifically true. Okay? Hmm. Yeah. This is Zeus. Yeah, this is Zeus. Zeus, Zeus, you remind me. You know, we used to serve together in the army. Zeus. Man, you remind me of an older friend. And I remember once Zeus, you know, I told him, Zeus, can you like, you know, just send some, you know, thunder, like, you know? And then Zeus said, oh, okay, you know, that's easy. And, you know, like we send it at the, uh, uh, at the uh, uh, enemy brother. Okay. And then Zeus, uh, you know, like, you see, the Bible says that God can punish even by thunder. He can punish you by anything. But this religion is so stupid. The engine himself is a thunder. Mr. Zeus. Oh boy. And then they say to me, you are deceiving people by making them leave in Islam. I'm not making anyone leave Islam. It is your stupid God, make them leave. It is your stupid prophet who make them leave. I did not. I just showed them what is there, what you try to hide from them. The Zeus religion. And actually, Allah, he resembles a lot of Zeus. Maybe I should use this picture for my uh, thumb. That would attract more Muslims. And this guy is wearing exactly the same as the Muslim when they do Hajj. Let me change. I like this image. Zeus. Smile. We will take a selfie for you. Let's see if there is better image. Oh, this one is good too. Oh boy. I think this is more attractive. This one will make the Muslims more happy, more satisfied, better than the other one. Let me change it. Okay. Bingo. Now we have a new image for the video. This is the new image for the video, brother and sister. Let me introduce for you the God of Islam. Zeus. Peace be upon him. Prove me wrong. Just dare to prove me wrong. Do you see how easy to defeat this stupid cult? It's so easy. But as always we say, knowledge is what? Is power. Any scammer, anyone can fool you if you don't have knowledge. Right? They can fool you. They can lie to you. They can make you do things it's not right. Because you don't have knowledge. 
And this is what exactly Islam is focusing on, is how we can fool the foolish one who have no knowledge. And we are here doing what is needed to give you the knowledge so nobody can fool you. So I hope that each one of you is taking reference. Remember, Christian Prince, he lived a year, two years, 50 years, 60 years, 70 years, he would die. But thank to God, we have our books and we have videos. Save them for your children and keep posting those videos after I go. So nobody can fool your children because there's a lot of liars right, right there. They worship money. All what they care for is worshiping money. You will see somebody claiming to be Christian making a video reaction for the Quran and he opened his mouth just to make more review from the Muslims. Very filthy, low-class people. No dignity. Satanic, demonic. They are no Christians. We are here to expose Zeus. All the false deity, all the false gods. And Lah, the moon god, is one of them. He never exists. And he will never exist. And as you see, all those Mohammedans, they have no answer. This is why they are sheikh, they fear to contact me. And their kids, they are in trouble. One of you sent me a message in Patreon and I said to him, don't ask me questions here, ask me in the live chat. About if we can eat halal food by, from, made by Muslims, I say no, we cannot. The Bible says clearly that any food is sacrificed for pagan God is not lawful for us. And Allah is a pagan God. Any question before we finish for today? Did we have a good time? I hope so. Knowledge we seek and knowledge we give. And every one of us remember, there's nobody is born knowledgeable. We learn. Don't think bad of yourself if you do not know. But think bad of yourself if you do not know and still you don't want to know. Because then somebody will take advantage of you. Somebody will fool you or fool your kids. What's happening in this world today that people don't care. They just want to live, right? But they forgot that even that will be taken from you because of a fool. Somebody who believes in this cult, he might do shooting. You never believe in religion. You never believe in God. You don't care. You are a hippie, tippy. You want to dance. You want to do hip hop. You walk in the street, an idiot with a gun machine, he starts shooting. So your life is not in your hand as you think. It can be taken from you by an idiot who believes in such a garbage. So you like it or not, you have to learn and educate people around you so you will not be end shot dead by a fool. This is how people get. killed because of their ignorance if you don't teach your kids in a very early age that drugs is very horrible your son will be drug addict if you smoke in front of him he will be like you if you cheat in front of him he will be like you if you light in front in front of him he will be do like you He will copy you. And if you are a fool, your son will be fool. And will be fooled. So if you care for yourself, I don't want you to care for me. I'm the last one to worry about this garbage cult. Care for yourself. Teach your children in a very early age. So when they go to school, they will not be fooled. And when it's time for them to understand heavier stuff, give them the heavy duty stuff. 
depend on their age. Be wise, be smart, be intelligent. I want to say thank you for being here, all of you. You may have a blessed, uh, a blessed uh, Saturday. And uh, we pray that all of us, uh, we work for, for the right thing to do in, in life, not to be selfish. Think about others. Uh, share knowledge. Don't be selfish. If you learn something, share it with your family, your wife, your children, your neighbors. So people will know. And actually, you will notice right away after you learn. If you sit in a place and you speak about this garbage cult, people will look at you differently because people will notice that you are speaking with knowledge, not stupidity. You will find a million videos made by silly European people saying things about Islam is not true. Why? Because they are dummy. And they decide not to, to study what they are. I mean, before you open your mouth to talk about something, shouldn't you know what you are talking about? So thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you. If you like to join us in Patreon, feel free, and most of you don't. However, the Lord is our provider. God bless. But I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. The Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brothers asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan, urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified <laughs> and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. <laughs>